on, guys. As Nate said, a lot of backseat driving. Nathan, the rocks. Yes, I know. I got it. I got it. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. <laughs> oh, sorry, silly. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Whoa. Run, run over the limus. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I was scared I was going to run over the lemurs. I don't want to run over the lemurs. Huh? Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Okay. Hey, Victor. What were you arguing with the rental guy at? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on tight. Oh, oh shit. Hey, take this slow, kid. Yeah. So Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. Okay. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. I still can't get over how beautiful that looks. Uh -huh. Sam, look, that's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Oh. Ah. What's that? Ivory powder flask. Oh, it's uh, an elephant's tusk. Yeah, well, I don't agree with poaching elephants. Or any creature for that, for that matter. Ah! Got some what? big plans for this winch. <clears throat> Can wrap it around this tree. What are you doing? Go on. Go around the tree. You don't want to go around the tree that way, you want to go around it this way instead. Go round! 
Nick, what are you doing? Why are you stuck? Why is he stuck? Okay. Huh. Bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Yeah, like a winch. And I was trying to wrap the winch around the tree and he won't go around the tree. Oh, now he suddenly wants to walk around the tree. But when I had the winch, he didn't want to walk around the tree. Alright, that makes a lot of sense. Let's try again. Actually... Do I need to drive the car closer? Let's drive the car a little bit closer. There. Although I don't see why the winch wouldn't stretch that far, but just in case, let's move it closer. There. That ought to do it. Oh, no, no, actually. Oh, oh. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. <laughs> All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Ah, you misery guts. <laughs> Whoa. Oof. <laughs> I think you can tell I don't do a lot of driving in video games, can't you? <laughs> there we go. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. So beautiful. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, we got it yeah, pretty... Yeah, Sully used to be a sailor. Yeah. Yeah. Still taking a long time. I'm just looking for... I'm just looking for stuff. Is there anywhere around here that I can go? Any more moving areas? Doesn't look like it. That over here. No. Nope. Whoa. No. Okay. Where am I meant to be going? This thing come with airbags? Parachutes? <laughs> Where am I going? I know I'm heading towards the volcano. And the volcano's this way. So... That's not a sheer drop, is it? 
yeah. We won't go that way. Oh. oh. I can see a pathway over here. Ah, there we are. Hold on a minute. Stay put. Happy hunting. You guys didn't talk about me while I was gone, did you? <laughs> Only bad thing about playing this game for the first time is that you you don't know where you're going. <laughs> Nope, that looks like a sheer drop. Don't want to go that way. Where am I going? Wh which way am I supposed to be going? I don't understand. One sec. Later. No. Parchment scroll. Let's go. I'm just going round in circles, aren't I? Because I don't have a freaking clue where I'm supposed to be going. Where am I going? No. Uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. What? Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, and you two aren't exactly very helpful. Where am I meant to be going? Which direction am I supposed to be heading in? I don't understand. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> You two are really useful to have in the back. <laughs> 